We all know the classic stabbing in the backstory, but what happened during Adam Waldman's testimony is definitely more than that. Johnny Depp's former lawyer was called by Amber Heard to testify on her behalf. However, Waldman literally made statements that debunk Amber's previous testimonies and presented even more holes to Heard's credibility. Can you please pull up um, the document labeled ARW 660, please? Sorry. But you do believe that the pictures and videos Marilyn Manson sent you help disprove Ms. Heard's allegations, correct? As to that, as to that incident, uh, Thanksgiving, perhaps 2013, I think those, I think those videos uh, and photographs, yes, demolished her claim. So how did Waldman crush Amber Heard? And will his testimony be enough to hand Johnny the win? Let's go and find out. Everyone was expecting a lot from Adam Waldman's deposition, not only because he acted as a lawyer for Johnny before siding with Amber, but also because he is one of the people who have personal knowledge about the relationship of the former spouses. Unfortunately for Amber, Adam basically presented more arguments against her favor, which was the complete opposite of why he was called to the witness stand. She showed up on the 27th in court with a lot of uh, bruises on her face. So there are two police officers, one domestic violence trained female police officer who've testified over and over and over that there was no damage to the uh, penthouse, which Ms. Heard uh, claimed was destroyed. That's a direct quote, destroyed. Um, there, uh, there are, that I can think of, nine other witnesses, um, the majority of whom uh, are either neutral or actually well, Ms. Heard's own witnesses who have testified in various forms, um, various times, that uh, there were no injuries to her face whatsoever. Distinguish these people uh, specifically have given testimony that she was, Ms. Heard was uninjured between the 21st uh, of May uh, up into perhaps the 25th or 26th of May. And then of course she appeared bruised again on the 27th. Some of them have testified that even after the 27th, they were with her and she appeared uh, and that she appeared bruised. The wrecking ball started when Waldman testified that Hurd's claim against Johnny about being an abuser is false. And honestly, this alone can totally break Amber's defenses against her ex-husband because Adam literally said that Amber's claim that Johnny assaulted her was nothing but a hoax. Um, do you mean, did I ever see evidence with my own eyes that something she was saying was false? Yes. Yes, to some extent I have seen evidence of things that show her statements to be false. If you connect all these statements from Adam, one would think that he was testifying in favor of his former client Johnny, but that wasn't the case here and you can totally see how frustrated Amber is whenever she hears her own witness rebut her narrative, and the very foundation of their defense against Depp's team. Not to mention how Amber's team did a very bad job when they questioned Adam during his deposition with almost all their queries getting struck out for violation of confidentiality between lawyer and client. Were you representing Mr. Depp at the time you made the statement? that included Ms. Hurd's abuse hoax against Johnny Depp. Instruct the witness not to answer based on attorney-client privilege. I accept the instruction. Why did you make this statement? Same instruction, same basis. I accept the instruction. Even fans who tuned in during the trial couldn't help but question Amber's choice of witness. This fan wrote, Adam Waldman is someone Amber Heard underestimated. He's not physically intimidating. He looks like a nice guy and sounds disarming. And yet he managed to out one of the biggest abuse hoaxes ever. Another fan pointed out how Adam shocked Amber and her team saying, Amber Heard's team called Adam Waldman to try and pin his press statements on Johnny Depp. Instead, they got to read those statements to the jury, a list of people who saw Heard uninjured, and Waldman informing the jury that Heard is under perjury investigation. So far, Waldman has become some sort of a trump card Depp's team didn't pull but somehow ended up benefiting them, which should make Heard's lawyers really question their capabilities. What do you guys think? Did you expect Adam to change lanes? Let us know in the comments below.